welcome you back here to the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. We're now joined by the head coach of the Washington Patriots girls basketball team, Son Edwards. Coach, you guys are on the way to Charleston, back-to-back seasons, making it to Charleston. First of all, just what are your takeaways from that regional championship and the win over Spring Mills? Um, I, I love how he stepped up and especially late in the game that we did some really good things uh, defensively um, to kind of secure it. And, you know, uh, Lexi just, you know, Lexi separated herself and she put herself in a different light. And uh, so I was really pleased to, to see that. Coach, your team gets to make it back to the state tournament for a second straight year now. What did you guys learn from last year's experience that you're hoping will benefit your team this time around? Uh, the lights are so different. Um, you know, when you're when you're walking up that tunnel, it's definitely different. So I think that's the biggest thing. Just kind of taking it all in and understanding, um, you know, appreciating the moment, but at the same time, you know, uh, just go compete, go play, and uh, you know, look at chips fall. Coach, you get to see Wheeling Park again after right. seeing the tournament last year. What have you seen or you know, heard on, on film? Uh, about Wheeling Park this year that compares to last year and just through your thoughts on what you've seen from that team overall? Uh, they're just, they're skilled, you know, they're skilled and we have to contain, uh, we just have to contain and, and try and slow them down on what, what they like to do. Uh, but they play at a, you know, they play at a fast pace and shoot the ball extremely well. Uh, so we just have to be ready to, you know, contest shots on the perimeter and, and rebound out of it. But we can keep them to one and done, you know, good possession from uh, a lot of possessions. You know, that'll put us in a chance to, to be successful. Coach, obviously, you know, Wheeling Park, very talented team. They have three girls that have scored a 1,000 mm-hmm. career points. Uh, right. But the fact that your team has at least seen them before, how do you think that helps uh, knowing what to expect and knowing how you kind of match up with them already? Um, I mean, it definitely helps, you know, but we know they're going to be ready to play. We know they're going to be hungry. You know, they lost in a championship game, too. So, you know, we're definitely we're definitely uh, taking all that into consideration and make sure that we have to go in and, and do our job to best of our ability and give ourselves a chance to win the game. Coach, since the uh, regional, you guys have had some time to rest and prepare for uh, – this matchup tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What have you guys been doing to uh, prepare? What's been the preparation? Um, def- preparation. Just uh, we definitely had some tweaks, some things on how we how we want to do what we need. What we've been doing um, over, all year long defensively. Uh, we definitely had to make some tweaks because of how they play, how they stretch the floor, how they're able to you know just kill you from the perimeter. Um, we know Woods brings a lot. You know she's kind of the engine. And, you know, everything kind of goes off of her. So, you know, we definitely want to give her a lot of attention and, um, you know, try and slow them down that way. Coach, obviously this is a bit different than your than your average road trip. And obviously, right. if you guys keep winning games, it, it can it go on for you know, a good bit of the week. What do you do uh, with your team when you get down there to Charleston to keep them in the right mindset? What sort of things do you do with your team while you're down there in that environment? Uh, you know, make sure that we, uh, you know, we have an itinerary for all week. Uh, we have an itinerary for all week. We, you know, we're, we're, as long as we keep things on schedule, um, you know, we're going to go over, we're gonna, you know, we want to go over and support our other Eastern Panhandle team, uh, Musselman. You know, we want to go watch them, um, keep the team bonding through meals, uh, get our study hall in, um, you know, and then just some other times we have a shoot around at Charleston Catholic. You know, so we have some things lined up for them as far as just, you know, trying to keep us focused on, on the task at hand. You know, we understand it's not a, you know, it's not a trip. We just come hang out. You know, we're down here for a reason, and, you know, we're just make the best of it. Is there anything that you wanted to do differently this year comparing to last year uh, in your preparation for this trip or just during the trip as well? Um, yeah, I think, you know, we have, while we have a lot of them that have, that are returning. Uh, we have a few that aren't, or that haven't been here. So what we try to do, you know, we want to get over there early and just kind of get them, let them kind of soak it in and get a feel for the court and just kind of walk through and get their, um, you know, get some type of, just kind of feel the energy there. Um, you know, just kind of 
to that. And the next thing is make sure we get the proper rest, get, you know, down here well enough time to get ourselves together, get ourselves organized, and, you know, and just get our mental state in the right space. It was, it was definitely challenging last year, you know, for him. And, you know, I think we were just so shocked at the moment. Uh, but I think uh, I think this year our mental state is in a different space. Playing at the uh, Charleston Convention Center and Coliseum, how tough is it to kind of make sure that you're properly prepared for that size of a arena to make sure that maybe even as they say in college basketball when it comes to the final four when you're playing in an nfl stadium depth perception can be an issue when it comes to shooting how much different truly is it for your team and what they learned from last year to try to help out this year that's a good question yeah that's a good question too because uh you know things look a little different you know you're coming walking up on the court, it's just every little thing matters. Um, so that's why you know my time when I go get them over there early enough, where they can kind of just kind of get a feel for it and you know kind of see where things are. You know, um, and that's the best we could do right now. But I think that just being here, ready to play. But at the end of the day, it, it's the mental challenge, and you know you have to well. You have to appreciate it, but, you know, just come down here and understand that we're down here for a week. We're down here to win. Uh, Coach, obviously, uh, this trip down to Charleston gives you another chance and another opportunity to get other looks at the teams outside of the Eastern Panhandle. You know, conference play, you get used to these teams, you know, like like Musselman, Hedgesville, Jefferson, and all of them. And when it comes to the state tournament and when it comes to out-of-conference play in general, what do you think your big takeaway is when, when you uh, have your team get those opportunities to play the teams that they don't usually get to play? What, what do you try to get your team to take away from those games and uh, you yourself, what do you learn most from those opportunities? Um, just understanding that you have to you have to be ready to put in the work and the and the time, um, you know, because you can tell kids that work on their game, you know, watching GW, um, you know, you can definitely see the difference between um, Zellas from one year to the next. You know, she definitely worked on their game. Um, you can watch Millie Park. You can see how comfortable and familiar they are playing with each other. And, it, and it's on, you know, with uh, Spring Valley. You know, you can watch those kids and see how, how they progress from year to year. And that's what we have to do. You have to continue better. You have to continue working on your craft. And um, so those are things that, you know, I definitely have been watching over the last couple of years. And you can kind of see the progression um, with each team on how they're trying to get better. And, you know, and we have to match that energy in order to be successful. Coach Wilder, you still have a lot of goals I'm sure you want to achieve with this program. Two right. years, two state tournament appearances. You mentioned it there kind of. How do you get to the point where Washington, while it's definitely headed in the right direction as a girls basketball program, is consistently looked at as one of the best in the state? How do you, how do you take that next step, do you think? You, you, you have to have, um, you know, your hands on the program. You have to have your thumb on the program. I know they... You know, they're, I'm in constant contact with them, you know, in the summer and just over just, you know, uh, trying to get them to make them understand that we have to put in the time, we have to put in the work. Because it doesn't, at the end of the day, if you've got the work, it doesn't, it, none of it matters. You know, you will, you have to be willing to put in the work. Um, because if we're not going to get better every year, then, you know, we could easily, we're having a different conversation when we're watching it on TV and, you know, and we don't want to do that. We want to be here. We want to make ourselves, you know, presence. We want to make our presence felt. And, you know, we want to win. That's just bottom line. I want to win. I want to be, I want them to get, put themselves in a position where they can win games. So um, we just have to put in the time and the work to do that. Uh, there's no other, there's no hidden secret behind it. You have to put in the time and the work. We're joined here by the head coach of the Washington girls basketball team, Rasan Edwards, as his team currently heading down to Charleston to play in the state tournament. It'll take place at 7:15 tomorrow against number two Wheeling Park. Coach, in Charleston, is there anything special that they have set up for the teams, being the final eight teams uh, within the state 
that they help out, whether it's just special events for hospitality to try to make the trip as enjoyable as possible, not just on the basketball court and something that the girls can remember for the rest of their lives? Um, I like the, you know, the initial entrance when they come in on the back side of the entrance, you know, they have sections set up, you know, take pictures and, you know, kind of things like that. But, uh, I mean, that was kind of the, the biggest thing, you know, they kind of set up the introduction for the game and, you know, things like that and want them to understand. Uh, and I know what they made a point of as well, them understanding the moment when they get their introduction, you know, meeting at half court, coaches meeting at half court. I mean, those are kind of the, the main thing that, I, you know, that I've, that I've come across. Okay, so that's nothing that is, you know, it's nothing that, you know, just, it, it, it's, a, it's a great experience for them. It really is. It's a great experience. So, um, you know, I, I can tell you I'd rather do this and not be here. <laughs> Coach, that's a long bus trip down to Charleston. How do you, how do you personally like to pass the time on a, on a long trip like that? Um, I'm today, kind of doing some work. I try to take a power nap, read a book, and then, um, you know, now the interview, we're going to stop halfway through. We're actually going to stop for some lunch, you know, kind of get let them stretch their legs out and, uh, you know, we're, we're riding, actually, we're near a WWE right now. So, they kind of get a chance to see some other things. And the other part of that, too, we're on a, we're on a uh, charter bus, so it makes it we we'll drive a little nicer. Stop riding it on the school bus. And see. Coach, thank you for the time, and uh, good luck tomorrow night. All right. Thank you, guys.